Florida has certainly had its share of severe storms this year. And one of the elements that we often find in storms that damages landscape plants is hail. Hail can damage plants in several ways. One of the most obvious being loss of foliage. Um, recently, a storm went through all the Omaha area and a lot of the trees are showing significant defoliation on the western side of the trees where the storm came from. Sometimes up to 50% or more of the foliage is lost. This is a serious impact on the tree because those fo that foliage uh, is the powerhouse for the plant. It develops carbohydrates, it photosynthesizes throughout the year. So the loss of those leaves is going to weaken the plants over the year. Another way that plants are damaged by hail is through direct impact of the hailstones on the bark of trees. The impact of the hailstones causes, um, oftentimes the bark will rip away and you'll get a definite wound on the, the main part of the trunk or on the secondary branches. As the year goes on, the trees will try to seal up those wounded areas, but they're very susceptible to infection by canker fungi. On evergreens, we particularly see a disease called Diploidea tip blight or, or Sphyropsis tip blight affecting hail damaged trees. And that's something we're really gonna have to watch out for on our Austrian and Ponderosa pines next spring. Uh, protecting them from the Sphyropsis tip blight will be an important consideration next spring. Another way that trees are damaged by hail is through death of the buds. Again, this is often particularly evident in evergreen trees. The buds can be knocked off or they can be damaged enough that the buds will die. We'll see this damage most evident next spring when those branches fail to send out new growth because of the lack of a bud. Damage to the cambial tissue by the impact of hailstones can kill the underlying xylem and phloem. The xylem and phloem are what move water and nutrients up and down through the tree. Consequently, trees with significant hail damage are not going to be as efficient at moving water up from the roots and nutrients down from the leaves. This stresses the trees and is an important consideration for homeowners as they manage those trees throughout the summer. Scorching of the ed edges of the leaf blades or browning of needles on evergreen trees is one e symptom that the tree is not moving water as well as it should, which again could be uh, a result of the damage to the xylem and phloem that's caused by a hailstorm. There are several things that you can do for your trees and shrubs to help them recover from hail injury. The first is gonna be to keep those plants well watered as we move into the hotter and drier part of the summer. Um, don't rely on your turf irrigation system, which probably will not water deeply enough for landscape trees and shrubs. Water your plants separately and soak them down well, very deeply, the top 18 to 24 inches of the soil, at least um, three or four times a month as we go into uh, the later part of July, August, and September. Also make sure that your plants are well watered going into the fall and into early winter. It's also a good idea to water uh, damaged plants in the winter time if we have warm enough periods and the soil is not frozen. Keep plants well mulched throughout the summer as well. This will help to conserve soil moisture and, and alleviate additional stresses from the tree. Don't fertilize your plants. Uh, that's not helpful and can actually make damage worse. We also don't recommend that you put any wound dressings on plants with damage from hail. Fungicide applications for hail damaged trees are also not recommended. Finally, prune out any dead twigs or branches that appear as the summer goes on and evaluate your landscape plants. This would be a good opportunity to increase the diversity of plants in your landscapes if you happen to lose a tree or a shrub to hail. And also try to increase the diversity of ages within your landscape so that you have some older trees and some younger trees. That will overall make your landscape more healthy.